on fightfans.com. What's up, Bishop Man? Pretty boy Floyd, the one and only. Uh, hello to uh, fightfans.com. Fightfans.com. James Lights Out, Tony. How you doing? Also das war eine von Anfang an, war für ihn vorteilhafte. Von Anfang an, er hat Vorteile gehabt natürlich, aber so ist halt meine Taktik, dass ich ähm, am Anfang sehr passiv bin und danach gebe ich noch mehr Gas. Und mein Ziel ist, dass ich ab sechster Runde den Gegner irgendwie erwische oder ausnocke. Das ist meine Taktik. Er hat auch natürlich gut gebockt, aber so bin ich. Well, Andre Durell started off very well. He had advantages in the early rounds, uh, but that is my kind of tactic. Uh, that I let him, well, start strongly, and then I uh, followed up myself from the sixth round on, so he clearly won the first rounds. Uh, but it was my tactic to, well, uh, raise my, my action in the, in the later rounds. Und natürlich, wenn ich Ab sechster Runde, wenn ich Chancen sehe, zum Beispiel, ich weiß nicht, war achte Runde oder neunte Runde, war deutlich am Boden, da ging ich da gar nicht gezählt. And I was, well, getting my chances and in the eighth or ninth round, he was clearly knocked down and the referee didn't even count. Aber das ist auch kein Problem. Für mich ist wichtig dieser Niederschlag, weil Niederschlag war so, ich habe ich hab gar nicht gesehen, ich, ich schaue nicht auf seine Füße, sondern ich schaue auf seinen Kopf. Und ich habe gar nicht gemerkt, wo er war, wie er war. Ich habe einfach auf seinen Kopf geschlagen, mehr nicht. Well, but that doesn't matter for me. For me, I think the key, uh, well, phase of this fight was the knockdown. Uh, I was not looking uh, to his feet, I was just looking into his eyes and I was, well, punching uh, on his, well, in his face. I was looking on his eyes and I didn't see I was down. Und ich denke, jeder Boxer, wenn er professioneller Sportler ist, er nutzt jede Chance, den Gegner auszunocken, er wartet nicht, bis der Gegner sich erholt hat. And if you're a professional sportsman or a professional boxer, you seek every chance to knock your opponent out and you don't wait uh, until your opponent has uh, recovered. Thank you. Andre Durell schooled Arthur Abraham. We said all along that Andre Durell was bigger, faster, stronger, way more gifted athlete, and I think he showed it to you in almost every single round. Let me give you the scores up to, uh, for lack of a better term, we call it the, the foul, or you could call it the incident, or whatever you like to say. George Guido Cavallari from Italy, and at 97-92 uh, for the round. Frank Garza from Michigan, and at 98-91 for And Annabelle Hamilton from Thailand, at 97-92 for the rally. So they all had it going away for Andre Durell. In the last round, first of all, there was excess water in that corner that uh, Arthur Abraham was in. They were just pouring the water over him. They weren't doing what they're supposed to do by doing the rules in boxing, which is taking care of that corner and drying it up. There came a time that Andre slipped, and there came a time that Arthur Abraham hit him when he was down. I would call it measured him when he was down. I will tell you that he was knocked out. He didn't know where he was. 
one of the doctors thinks he had a seizure. Um, another one thought it was a concussion. Uh, but at any rate, I know I've been in boxing long enough since 1971 that he was acting irrationally even when we had him up. Uh, so we have sent him to the hospital by ambulance for the full brain scan and make sure that he's okay as a precaution. He was most upset when he was up and he was crying that someone called him a coward. And truthfully, I didn't hear it. I don't know if someone called him a coward or didn't call him a coward or whatever was going through his head caused him to say that. But first of all, no boxer that goes into a ring and fights in front of all these people is a coward. And certainly Andre Durrell is not a coward. He went in there, he took some of Roth Abraham's best shots, um, all my hats off and congratulations to Leon Lawson uh, Jr. Who, who trained him and I guess he and the granddaddy came up with the game plan and I can tell you that Andre Durrell stuck to that game plan almost every round and it's, it's got to be a good feeling for, for Leon to have not only a family member but a pupil follow the game plan exactly and execute it. And it was, he was like Picasso tonight. He gave you a spectacular drawing in that ring. He, he put on a boxing clinic. He, he, he moved, he didn't run like Arthur Abraham thought he was gonna do. He moved side to side. He threw combinations, he threw great body punches, and he showed he had power when he knocked Abraham down, he cut Abraham, and I think in the second round, Arthur Abraham was already starting to swell a little and, and turning red. Let me tell you what I like, and let me tell you what I don't like. I don't like what Arthur Abraham said in the ring on Showtime tonight. I thought it was classless, you can quote me on that. He said that, one of the things that he said that I overheard, he said that Andre Durrell was an actor. Andre Durrell's not an actor. You hit him when he was down. It was an intentional foul. The world saw it. You could replay it a thousand times. There's absolutely no reason to say that.